So now uh, we will start the uh, afternoon session and uh, another uh, remote uh, presentation by Greg Brook uh, from Australia, uh, Blue Mountain Botanical Garden uh, Curator and Manager. He is going to talk about the uh, cannabis plant in uh, southeast, not southwest, southeast, southeastern cannabis plant habitats. In Australia, Blue Mountain Shopsen, no manager can a manager in the other Greg Buke, she got the Australian non tobe, this name, Sidoni Yorino, for no research no shokai was mass. Okay, Greg, please. Okay, thank you, Koji, for that introduction. Can you see the the just the, the front slide presentation? Hi, this is Interpreter speaking. Yep. Can you hear me? Yes. Is it possible to use microphone, please, if you have any? Uh, certainly. I'll see, see if I can track one. Sorry. So, is, is, is the audio not so great? Yeah. Wake yeah. up. <laughs> um, are you going to show the uh, small uh, picture all together, or maybe it's better to only focus on the main screen. I'm going to focus primarily on the habitats of uh, southeastern Australia, more so than the carnivorous plant taxa themselves. Um, so you get a, a better understanding of, of what happens in eastern Australia as opposed to, I'm, I'm sure many of you know um, very well what, what the soils and, and habitats are like in western Australia. Uh, プレゼンテーションでは主に肉中植物の食生息地ですね生息地に焦点を当てて this this map roughly shows the taxa globally, and I use the word taxa rather than species because um, a lot of what we'll see in southeastern Australia uh, is is currently taxonomically ambiguous, despite it being the uh, the the most populated area of uh, Australia. It's probably the least well known. Oh, please. Okay. Uh, so, can you repeat that? I'm, I'm having trouble hearing you. Is, is that okay? I'm going to your talk. Uh, we got some sort of noise. So, could you repeat the first half part? Oh, okay. So the, um, uh, the, this map roughly shows the carnivorous plant density uh, as, as we know that Australia and the southwest and north of Australia is, is a high number of uh, endemic carnivorous plant species. But eastern Australia has quite a bit of diversity 
uh, although a lot of these tax are, are, are still poorly known. で、オーストラリアにはいろんな種類のこのが食虫植物がいるんですけれども、主にサウスウェストなので、え、南東ですか、南東南西、南西と北に集中してるんですが、え、そのオープンのものがエンデミックな種類、種類になっておりまして、え
苔ですよね。水苔水苔ですか。水苔みたいなものがたくさんあります。Okay. Yeah, so these,、uh, hot, these、uh, high elevation areas are similar to what you would see commonly through Europe and, and much of the northern hemisphere.、Uh, very little nutrients,、uh, snow covering winter, and winter season for the summertime. <coughs> また南半球と非常によく似た感じになっておりまして、えー、苔はたくさんあるんですけども、えっと、栄養分が乏しいとおっしゃってます。はい、OK。OK?、Uh, here you can see Drosera、uh, Arcturi and Drosera Murphytai growing in a cushion plant、uh, in Tasmania. ドロセラのアーキチュリーと、それからドロセラの。<笑>そういうものがこの,あの、えー、苔の上に生息しております。Okay. So, t y p i c c a l l y it grows in e x p o s On the right, it can grow to quite a, a tall size of about 20 centimeters.はい、ありますで、えー、もう少しちょっと乾燥したところになってくると、あの伸びる、ぐっと伸びて27センチぐらいの大きさになるものもあります。Okay, just、uh, below these, these、uh, alpine areas, we have subalpine and cool climate moisture retentive so soils, and these extend into right through southern、uh, Victoria into South Australia.、Uh, ドロスロバイナータは、非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非でこちらなんですが、ドロセラビナータという種類の、えー、植物でございます。で、可燃性っておっしゃったんですか可燃性ですよね。可燃性で、えー、と温度の低い気候を好むで、えーと、背はあまり伸びない感じですか。はい。OK?In the, the same cool climate habitats, we have 
a number of other species, including the one and only uh, pygmy drosera to have escaped Western Australia on mainland Australia. Uh, and it also occurs in New Zealand, and this is drosera pygmaea. で、carnivorous plants, tuberous carnivorous plants that have made it over from Western Australia, as well as a few erect species of tuberous drosera. これも旧海上の植樹で植樹植物でございます。はい、ありがとうございます。え、ディスプレディストラスパンイズスプレディストラスパンイズスプレディストラスパンイズスプレディストラスパンイズスプレディストラスパンイズスプレディストラスパンイ
uh, a few in, in sort of uh, coastal eastern Queensland. And, uh, for other aquatic species are found throughout the region, including Utricularia australis, Utricularia stellaris, and Utricularia gibber. Uh, these species require clean, uh, fairly good quality water to thrive. Ephemeral swamps are also found through the region and in set up. These uh, are often put on spectacular displays with species like Utricularia barkeri, Utricularia bugleholii. Uh, and they also contain Drosera like Drosera ganiana and Drosera hookeri. はい。で、このお酒をお伝えしたんですが、え、ここではしばしこんな美しい光景を見ることができます。これ今映ってるのがウトリキュラリーグロコレイといった種類なんですけれども、他にも何種類かおっしゃってましたが、すみません、ちょ
certainly to see this amount of vegetation because these areas are often affected by disturbance events, primarily fire in eastern Australia. Now, in this habitat, we can also find Drosera bionata. This surrounding vegetation is waist deep. It's, it's almost one and a half metres deep. And this causes the plants to grow a lot of pediops and therefore very divided leaves. This, this one has uh, leaf divisions of over a hundred points. で、この辺の実質なんですけれども、その植樹植物が実施している場所、場所を囲むように他の植物が植わっていて、その植物は大体背が高いものが多い、1.5m so plants in this habitat can survive uh, years, many years, even decades. Uh, struggling to survive until a fire passes through or, or a disturbance event passes through and then the plants will flower and set seed and hopefully uh, spread more more seed to keep the generations going. And here is an example of a Drosera bionata in the northern region that has been uh, submitted to fire uh, in the previous five years. So the leaves are smaller and more compact, um, but still very highly divided as opposed to those in more southern, cooler climates. こちら、先ほどのドロセラビナータなんですけれども、北の方で見られるもので、かなり形的には小さなもの、小型のものになっておりますで、南で見られるものとは少し違った、ドロセラビナータ、南だとこんな感じになるんですかね、北になると先の青
でそれぐらいの湿度が高いところが好む高いところに好んで自生しているのがこちらのドロセラのスパチュスパチュラータでございますほぼ水面みたいなところで育てます And here's a plant that had been underwater, and you can see the rosette leaves are, are shrinking in size as the, as the plant develops. Uh, inland springs、uh, from groundwater basins are also a feature of southeastern Australia. They're, they're not very common,、um, but a very important habitat. So we can see here the, the area shaded、uh, from blue to red is what is called the Great Artesian Basin, and it's, it's a large body of subterranean water. And the small blue dots show where that water rises to the surface. これがオーストラリアの盆地を示しているそうなんで、なんかへこんでるんですよね、ベイジンって言ってるのでへこんでます。で、その中に点在している水色の部分、これがさっきお写真で見せたような泉になります。こういうやつですね。Now, not, not all of these、uh, springs are suitable habitat in central South Australia where the, the colour is red or yellow. There is,、uh, Springs are high in sulfates and are not suited to carnivorous plants. Uh, he, he can see one of the springs in central northern New South Wales、uh, surrounded by floodplain or, or desert floodplain. And this is home to utricularia fenchamii. ちょうど泉が映っていまして、その隣はもう砂漠から隣接しておりますよね。で、ここはウ,ルウ,リウトリキュラが自生しております。So these plants, these, these few species that are found around these artesian springs or mound springs,、uh, it's very fragile habitat and, and these, these springs are often tapped for farming. And so there is a risk that these habitats will be lost in the future. Now, the, the, the inland areas right through the southeast are also、uh, quite influenced by the northern monsoon season. So, rains that fall up in northern Australia around Darwin. Often extend down in the summer into the, the arid regions, and carnivorous plants can survive、uh, typically as annual species through this region.
、えー、食虫植物が生き延びて生き長らえているということです。Uh, the species that occur through these regions include、uh, Drosera, Finlay, Soniana, as well as Iblis,、uh, some Utricularia species, and Drosera burmanii occurs through these regions. And sometimes they don't receive rain for many years, but when good rains come, the plants、uh, thrive. でこの地域で、えー、自生できる食,生食,食虫植物はドルセラ・ファルコネリそれからフィンレイス・フィンレイス・ソニアナっていうドルセラとそれから、えー、一部のウトリキュラそれから他にもあるんですけどもこう雨が非常に長い間降らない,か降らない時も、えー、じっと我慢しててでその降った時にこう戻ってくる力があると。ドロセラなこの地域で。で今お見せしているこの地形なんですけれども先ほどお伝えしたグレートディバイディングレンジという山脈ですよねこれによってこう途中がこういうふうに分かれているとお伝えしておりますでこれなんですが300あ3億年前に起こった火山活動で生まれたってと考えられておりますでこれがあるためにオーストラリアの生物は多様性が低いと考えております Provides a range of habitats from the flat plateaus on top of the, the range, as well as seepages that can be seen throughout the cliff lines where cracks occur, and also low down、uh, on the mountain range where small creeks are found, all because of these very nutrient poor soils. Yes,、um, so th there's a, a range of habitats generated by these sandstone escarpments from the, the tops of the sandstone in the shallow soils to the、uh, seepages along the cliff lines and also in the small creeks、uh, at the base of these hills, all because of the nutrient poor soils.
Uh, this, this habitat also supports a number of Utricularia species like Utricularia, Uniflora and Lateriflora uh, as well as Trosphora spatulata. で、他にもウトリドブ、ウトリの種類がたくさん、たくさん受精しておりまして、え、ウトリフラユニクロ、ユニクロだ。ウシクロだ。ウトリフラ、ラトリ。ラトリ。ラトリ。ラトリ。
Uh, here you can see the, the leaves underwater, uh, which can be submerged permanently in some areas, but this is a, a site where the leaves have been submerged for a relatively short period. And on the left, you can see some flowerscapes that were caught by the flooding. And despite their small size, the flowers of this species can be quite spectacular. Now we're going to just extend our, our visit a little bit outside what I typically classify as southeastern Australia and look at the, the tropical uh, area around Cairns where uh, the unusual group of the, of the prolifera complex occurs. Uh, this, this rainforest habitat is very unusual for sundews and in areas where uh, the, the rainforest is exposed because of rocks we can find these drosera and also right in the deep forest we can also find them uh, highly unusual for um, carnivorous plants in this group. Drosera prolifera, which is found only uh, at the peak Thornton Peak, it occurs in Petty Straits uh, and up into high elevation of 700 meters, where it occurs amongst where it occurs amongst mossy boulders. <laughs> Okay. Drosera adelae is the most widespread of species that occurs on river banks, uh, also in seeps and on waterfalls, and Okay. So this one can grow in very deep shade and also in full sunlight and some populations of this plant go completely dormant in the, the dry periods. Drosera uh, shizandra is the largest of the species and is confined to the Belland and Kerr range or, and Mount Bartle Frere. Uh, it's found in deep rainforest at about six to eight hundred meters elevation. Um, but its primary habitat is along creek beds, uh, sorry, creek margins in the rainforest. <laughs>
Uh, this is another shot of Drosera schizandra, but the recently described Drosera bubajum uh, from further north um, just shows that there is this rainforest area is poorly explored and understood and I would be very surprised if more species from this group were, were not discovered in the coming years. So that's, that's really a, a, a broad uh, overview of the habitats that are in Canada. Uh, what I want to, to understand is you know, we have a lot of uh, fairly closely related taxa in this region um, which surprisingly are still poorly understood and uh, I'm very confident that there will be new discoveries through the region uh, in the coming years. え、次に元の分類がどんな感じになっているのかということが次の分類がどういう感じになっているのかということを紹介できたかなと思います。少しながら、え、たくさんの種類があるにもかかわらずその研究が及んでいないんですね。ですので理解はまだまだ低いと思
、えー、その脅威のレベルが違っているとかそういうことも分かってくるんじゃないかなと思いますそういうのが新しい発見として見えてくれば、えー、よりたくさんの今守られてない植,生植物も、えー、守っていくことができると思いますしそういった助けにはなると考えています。Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Greg. This is Amy from Boston.、Um, Hi, Amy. So, I,、um, I believe there are two different、uh, flower color forms that are commonly grown by the、uh, Australian growers.、Um, one is the pink flower form, and the other one is the、uh, yellow flower form. And、uh, do you know the origin of those? Are they just cultivars and、uh, occur in the cultivation? Or are they from you know,、um, real、um, that wild、um, growing condition? Like, do, do they have a locality? Um, yeah, flower color is、uh, that's exhibited in, in cultivation is common in the wild as well. And typically, populations will be、uh, of one colored flower, but you do occasionally find populations that have different colored flowers within that population. Oh, so, there's not really a specific、um, lo locality where they are from?、Um, they tend to be, the, the pinker flowered ones tend to be further north.、Um, yellow or greenish flowered ones are from New Zealand.、Um, but the, there is a bit of、uh, variation throughout the range. It's not restricted to one particular area.、Okay. Thank you very much. えっと、答えなんですけれども、あのー、ピンクもあ、えっと、黄色い花は、まあ、緑がかっている黄色なんですけれどもそれは、えー、ニュージーランドで、えー、っと発見されたんだか、あのー、始まったのかよくわからないんですが、えー、っとのもので、えー、っとピンクのは、えー、っとオーストラリアの、えー、っとどこっていうよりも、まあ、そういう。Thank you very much. Any other question? Okay. Okay, Greg. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.